a handful of these men in our film that are between 80 and 90 years old that can find this trouble, them and their and their dogs that take and the dogs of course have to be trained for four years before they can find this thing. But it's a it's kind of a really unique fairy tale type community that has not been uh, uh, doesn't seem as part of this modern world in many in many ways. To us, it felt like they were paintings. Each one of them felt like a very much like a Renaissance painting. You know, we would only shoot when the light was right. You know, we took our we took our time. It took a lot of patience. Uh, we didn't have a story going into this. This wasn't a story about Carlo's life, about him having to retire. It wasn't a story about Angelo's complaining to the government about you know globalization. It wasn't really. We had no story. We just knew this place enchanted us, and we wanted to just spend as much time as we could. And then once we realized. There was such a there was such a mystery and charm to this world that we decided to just film it. Carlo! Carlo!